Welcome to the Gun Food Training Channel. My name is Jeff, and today we're going to discuss situational awareness as it applies to those working private security and also to civilians for their personal safety. So for details, stay tuned. Situational awareness can be defined as maintaining a constant perception of the environment, events, and people around us by use of all available senses to monitor for potential dangers. Why is situational awareness important? Well, the sooner we can identify potential dangers, the sooner we can take positive steps to either mitigate those dangers or to avoid them altogether. In the context of private security, our job is to both observe and report. And observation is essentially exercising our situational awareness. If we smell smoke, chances are there's a fire. If we hear someone screaming or shouting, uh, chances are there's a potential for someone to be in physical danger. We hear gunshots, definitely danger. Uh, and if you happen to see someone concealing some product or merchandise, uh, you know, in their purse or a bag or under their shirt, and they go past the cash register and they're heading for the exit, potentially someone's going to commit a theft. But for personal security and personal safety, uh, it's also important to maintain a good situational awareness. Anytime you're awake, you should be maintaining a personal awareness of what's going on around you, whether you're in your home or apartment and you hear something outside of your home or apartment going on in the neighborhood, or whether you're out in public, you're shopping or you're working, wherever you're at. Now, we don't need to be hypervigilant, but maintaining good situational awareness can help us prevent getting involved into dangerous situations. I always like to tell folks, you know, if you're entering a convenience store or a gas station, these buildings that tend to have large glass windows where you can actually see in before you even get close to the building, it's not a bad idea as you approach one of these buildings to kind of take a look inside and see if anything is going on that you might not want to be a part of. Statistically, robberies are more likely to occur at gas stations and convenience stores than they are at Walmart, Best Buy, or any other big box store. So since you have these windows, you might as well use them. When you approach one of these buildings, and this is what I do, I'm constantly kind of scanning. I'm looking around. There's someone at the beer cooler. There's someone at the cash register. Oh, well, there's someone over there. Is anyone doing anything unusual? Do I see anyone inside holding a weapon or a gun? Uh, you also want to ask yourself in your daily life when you're around new people or in different environments, is there anything about this person or this environment that makes me feel unsafe? You know, we always talk about people trusting their gut instincts, uh, or at least men. We, we say men get gut instincts and women have intuition. But Actually, there is a firm physiological foundation in this. Uh, the second highest concentration of neurons, that's brain cells, in your body is actually found in your digestive tract. So when you enter a situation and you feel uncomfortable and you kind of get a sinking feeling in your stomach or a, a gut feeling or a, just an uneasy kind of queasy feeling, that's your body picking up subconsciously indicators in your environment that are telling you that something's not going right. So as always, we want to tell you guys, if you're working a post, doing private security, keep your head on a swivel, be safe today. And for everyone else, for your own personal safety, consider using situational awareness. Consider when you go into a building, looking before you go in. Consider when you're in an environment, where are the exits? Which one is closest to you at any given time? How easily could you get yourself and your loved ones, your spouse, your children, to that exit and exit the building if there was something going on, if there was a fire or there was an active shooter. Just want to encourage all you folks to be safe. And as always, thank you for watching the channel. If you like what you saw, please do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit a like on the video, and be sure to share this out with your friends. And thank you again for watching the Gun Food Training channel. We'll see you guys next time.